it's looking hot to trot and honestly i think this is going to be another classic yeah, I, I think when you look at FPX right now, they've never actually had the chance to beat G2. They overtook them as the number one team, but organization versus organization, they never got what they really wanted, that revenge. And now we're going to start out the pistol round here on Icebox with a one-to-one -one trade. It's Mixwell over on the G2 side playing the Viper, who's managing to get that opening. And he was unbelievable yeah. last time that we saw him play. Yeah, one of the best bind performances I've ever seen from any player individually. He was playing a Lurk role that was just unbelievable. Now, Nuki's playing an Omen. It's not something I've got to witness just yet. I think he played against No Poaching doing this and then switched back to Arena for their next matchup. So I was thinking, okay, it's just a one-off trying something. Didn't really work. But no, they brought it back. They used it versus remaining. FPX. And unfortunately, in this round at least, well, it hasn't gone great. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. Only Goldamenta left alive, and he's gone. Not managed to get that spike down. That's going to cost them extra time. It, but they'll still get it in the end. For G2, this has been a pretty hefty investment, especially when you look at some of the pistols that they have in play. I believe Kellogg's bought up a Sheriff as well. So they've got some capability to take long-range fights. But that wall down from Angel, it sections them off and leaves Avova isolated. Now, though, he's got support in the form of Kellogg's, but a missed shot makes it that little bit more difficult. Both Angel and Zipan are one hit to the body by these sheriffs. Angel goes down right off the bat, but the defuse is underway, and Nuke needs to wide swing. He gets the first, and it's not managed to pull him off the defuse in time. They're through when they've smoked off that angle, right? And that gives Kellogg's the perfect opportunity to get the jump on these players. Good start as well. Shadow already being dropped now. Zipan is very close to the res, so a single kill here could actually make a, a huge difference for this round, but they're already getting in on the execution. The plant looking to come in. Demasig trying to lurk around the edge. There'll be a free kill for him at least, but the trades come in thick and fast, still leaving this with an advantage in the favor of G2. Now Angel, he's desperately trying to clear out the site, but they're actually quite far back at this point. The peak, though, actually hands him a kill. That could be a way back in. An opening for them, Cold Amenta coming around the side. The spike already Stick halfway it. defused. It's going to be fully, and they're not able to stop him. FPX are just getting away with these non stop defusing the spike. He's the one I'm keeping my eye on for now. He's crept his way up through middle, and nobody spotted him on the cross. Very valuable map control, and right below them in mid, he's going to be taken down. With Zipan and Xiao both finding frags, that puts G2 in a bit of a tough spot. They basically have to just go for a heads-up push on B at this point. And with a wall to play with from Avova, it's going to be their best shot actually used aggressively. But he gets spotted up above. And now this plant is in danger. Those players being swung on towards yellow. Coldamenta is at least able to take down one. But FPX can gather their troops and go in for this one. In fact, they don't even need to. The, the duels are offered up right off the bat. And Kellogg says very little hope with his knife out and a flank from Dimasic to close the round. Yeah, again, this was one of those rounds where you, you're almost hoping that your remaining players on the other side of the map can cut off rotations, do a little bit of damage. Now able to push into the site and garner that little bit of extra control. Or garnish, as Van Sully would say. Shadow, oh, not able to get away with that one. And now the opening is there. They can get on this site for the plant, but they just keep on taking kills. Why wouldn't you? Two-man advantage as FPX cower back, and Kellogg's comes in with the ultimate. The first kill is his, but Xiao trades it back. It's doable. It is winnable, but that spike... It's going to be blinded eventually, Tom. They're going to get it down. <laughs> they don't need the spike. They're just going to kill everyone. They're going to even push on to Shao. Last bullet left. Now, he would have to not only get the ace. He it over, but in oh, fact, FBX have started a rotate of their own. Now they've got three players close sight, plus Angel on the way to help. This could be huge. Puts them into a five versus four situation. Still got the blade storm if necessary, and... Maybe even a neural theft to try and clear out the last few members. They do have to be a little bit careful, though. Of oversat in this corner. We've seen him do so much damage before. We know the individual skill of this man. Yuki already picking off one. They actually don't clear him. And they're slowly being picked apart. It comes down to the one versus one. And Xiao will just about... That's going to be the case anymore. And that's the thing as well. Like, they win this round. We're looking at probably a victory in the half. 
Xiao, though, this yep. is an aggressive angle. Of course, the dash available to him to get out of there, so it's absolutely fine. Not going to be a problem. Now, we do have the Viper Spit once again. That said, it's being up very quickly. Never mind, we don't! Xiao's just peeked back in and killed off Mixwell. That operator in his hands is looking fierce. God, that is pretty massive. Not going to be any Viper's Pit to play into here, and that could have really bridged the gap for G2. Now they have to do it on raw aim, and they're locked out of the site. The spray with the Vandal, well, it's not going to work. There's five players staring at him, and although Cold Amenta picks up one... stay back mm -hmm. on a duelist, brawling with everyone. Yes. I love it. The return of the Xiao Show. We've missed it. We really have. Zipan took over when he went and killed, but now... Up. Finally. <laughs> yeah, it's not the show, show stopper, but hey, we'll take what we can get. All right, I'm, I'm liking him on the jet for now. Nuke, not a chance coming around the side swipe. Angel's ready. And G2, they're struggling. A little bit of a miss from Xiao on 70 HP. He might be a little, well, on 20 HP, he might be a little <laughs> cautious for going out for another peak. <laughs> I think that operator's been a little bit nerfed in this Look round. Putting G2 in a pretty winnable spot, honestly. He's just that man. He's always in the corner. They even expect him to be there, but it doesn't matter. Demon Sick is so clinical. Oh, that is... Out of the round. <laughs> yeah, I only saw it in the replay. He was doing the animation, but he had only just started it. This push up top, though, a little bit risky from Zipan. He's going to go down off the bat. That's the res out of the round. And FPX, they've got... a uh, well, indeed, both reses. They've got a little bit of a rotate towards this A site. But it's not really worth where they've ended up. This has to be a huge flank from Angel. Spike planted. Uh, Shadow not having any utility left. It's, it's going to be difficult to pop back in. But you know what? You mentioned it. You mentioned Angel's flank. He's already managed to pick off one. Mixor gets into the corner. But one it seems like remaining. Shadow is prepared for it. And now it's left into a one versus three for Kellogg's. Trying to pull this one back. Wrapping around the site, spotted by Xiao. The shot's missed, but he's isolated. He's pulled back into an awkward position. Or at least fight for the orb. Get out the of drone. my way! Already a push coming through it. The drone trying to clear him out, but Angel's prepared for it. He's ready and waiting. Zipan will, however, go down. Oh, it's ah. awkward, but Angel gets away with it. And now the rest of the team have to try and pressure onto him, but it's a Vova's wrap from behind. That could be the difference maker, and they're going to bring back Kellogg's as well. That's a really smart flank by Avova. He put a smoke down so they couldn't actually see him as he wide swung out to face sight, then used his shadow step across to get back to his teammates. Now they've got that advantage. They've got the res in. Everything is going G2's way right now. FPX are on the back foot and trying to buy their way back. And it doesn't look like it's even possible. There's three players behind Yellow. They'll have to isolate so many duels and they are just traded on again and again. That is G2 picking up four rounds. It's not a great half. But Here. Flash through. Oh, the recon shallow as well. Shadow's going to be able to take Cold Amenta down. The panic play inside of middle definitely didn't benefit them there. And Xiao has gone right up on top to get that plant in. Avova's trying to sneak up on him. And the right click is good for the kill. Now those surrounded. There's players absolutely everywhere. He's not going to try and defuse this, is he? Oh, the wall doesn't actually work. It gets clipped off right at the start. And so Kellogg's one versus three to try and make this recovery. We said they need the pistol and they do not have the next round a little bit more challenging. Now, Cold Amenta, he's got a cheeky crossfire here, but Mixwell is going to whiff the shots, not connect on to anybody. Too many targets and now Cold Amenta's left. This goes from what should have been an easy round to now in contest. Spike planted. A Volva about to be wolfed out as well. They know exactly where he is thanks to the tiger dog animal. But Kellogg's He's able to shut down Xiao, making his way towards this smoke where Zipan's waiting on the edge to swing through and take a kill. A free upgrade in weaponry for him, and he's going to need it. Oh, no. In fact, he sticks with the Spectre, making his way around to find the first. And now this could be the 3K to close it. It is. 11 on the board for FP. It looked to be. Slips out of G2's hands, and FBX are just one away from a dominant victory. Who saw this coming? Like, I, I get it's map one, it's the choice of FPX. Like, it, obviously, we know that they're a team that just seem to put in unbelievable amounts of work, especially when it comes to facing off against the top teams. I, I feel like there's just a different level of how much these teams practice. But come on, did, did we really look at this as like a 12-4? Like, I, I didn't. I thought that this would be a battle, especially both of these teams played Vitality. Both of these teams went to overtime. Now, sure, that doesn't mean that every game is going to be that way. 
But this is ridiculous. Cold Amenta, though, he's woken up, but the res is going to come back through. Zipan trying to hold on, but Kellogg's has found another. Now, this is starting to look good for G2 in this round. It does seem like a consolation prize. If anything, no. oh, they can't lose this one, Tom. They can't lose this one. Dimasix already got himself a double, evened up the numbers. Xiao waiting inside middle knows exactly where Nukia is. He has to cross him. Doesn't even have the dash. It's going to be a straight up face. A little bit of a tag coming through, but Xiao, he crosses back oh, over. Oh, That's oh, such no. a sneaky play. Nukia doesn't expect it at all. And G2, all their hope rests on Evolva's shoulders. He's moving back up towards Kitchen, which is the right move here because Dimasik is still sat in, waiting for him to make a move. And oh, oh, he yes. hasn't spotted him. He's going to res. <gasps> Dimasik's coming up through the alleyway now, through the halls. He's going to have the flank of his dreams on this, Tom. Neither player expects him to be here, and why would they? A free kill to Evolva, and Mixwell left to clutch it out. One versus two. Doesn't have anything to actually blind up the site. His wall is there, but it's way too far back. They can easily spam him in that corner. I don't see a way that he gets away with this one. He, uh, with a phantom as well. Insult to injury at this point. The Diffuse is tapped. He hopes that someone peeks him, but the sprays confirm that they're far away, and as the wall falls oh. down, Xiao just... <laughs> so FPX, they lose a player right off the bat. Now we're looking at Xiao defending towards the B site, and he's in a bit of a troubled spot. I don't think Shadow's going to be able to get out there to help him. Unless someone walks into that smoke. Gives him an opportunity. Oh, he's going to try to sneak through. He's hoping for the timing. Ooh. He's almost ran right past them. In fact, they don't even notice that he's here. The fault that they still don't know. The flash comes in and Shadow's good for one. Another popped and an uh, awkward fight. Not an easy kill at all. Cold Dementa grabs himself that one, but with Mixwell being alone, well, he didn't really stand much of a chance, did he? Even if there's not quite so many of them, I, I think he's going to be a force on his own. Oh, definitely a force to be reckoned with. And I think if you just take a look at how things are shaping up right now for FPX in this series, they def they have the driver's seat. They're looking so strong. And here's... Oh, that was such a good opportunity, man. If that flash doesn't go through, Dimasik possibly gets his ultimate basically online at the very start of the game, which is dangerous coming into a bonus round. But with him going down, that's a very valuable kill for G2. In fact, another goes their way. And now they've got full control over spawn. But... But not their spawn, the other one. Oh, that's such a disgusting skin, Shao, but I'm sure a couple disgusting <laughs> shots are on the way. The air is good for two. Barely even uh, able to identify that weapon when it's got the minima skin on. Oh. Let's see if he can get another here. Kellogg's going to be tagged up. Oh, the temptation to spam. There. Um, well, we saw Zipman's coming up behind. He's on his way through main, and he hasn't got a teammate anymore, Tom. Yeah, the problem is as well, that's given the blade storm over to Kellogg. See, he has a real chance of actually stealing this round away. He's done so much damage individually, but Zipan still on basically full HP. The problem, though, is I, I believe he only has a pistol, so he basically has to hit the instant shot, but it could just be the timing that's everything. A couple of knives going through, but not quite connecting. Another missed and is back to the SMG, leaving Kellogg's on just 26 HP, but he gets it with the last knife. A bit of extra information. There's three players on this site. So they are pushing into what is a majority stack, but <sighs> Angel, uh, I, I think maybe he thought it was a little bit more covered off than he was. So being picked off early, shout at the back in a problematic scenario. Now that Shadow's fallen as well, it will leave him alone. But we know what this man can achieve. The wolf going to be coming through and it dives just as he pushes. And that will be of over to trade things out. Nuke is caught in the corner, though. They can definitely isolate him. Dimasik doesn't have hot hands online, but Nukia gets dropped anyways. Now that's a weapon to be retrieved. Dimasik getting that little bit of an upgrade. Doesn't have any flashes either, but the wall. Will that come into play? It looks like it's just aim duels, and there's the first going his way. Ultimate online. It's going to be popped, and they're going to commit to it. Mixwell pops the flash, swings out wide, but Dimasik deals with him. Enough people messaged him and said, what is wrong with you? Oh, this push through market. It's dangerous. When Dimasik's here, ready to swing, already caught the first, and now they are completely... Whoops. Oh, that was close. Kellogg's almost gets taken down. Nukia falls to the Hunter's Fury Shao. Getting so much value for that ulti. And this push is, I mean, it's been stopped before it can even start. Last player standing.
I thought for a moment that was going to be a kill for Mixor or Kellogg's. He's got the spike back, but that's about the only positive, and they know exactly where he is as well. Flawless round from F. To really get the value out of them, they're Angel situational, off. and well, right. you're not using that anymore. The Hunter's Fury's gone right off the bat. It's called Amenta's out. It's really the Seekers, man. Like that's that's the main ultimate for me when you look at at G2. And Mixwell hasn't got it online right now, so they don't have that helping hand. And Angel's still here. Okay. He's gone out aggressive on a different angle. He's fighting for mid from all over the map with oh, that operator. They seen, they oh, I thought for a second they were going to try and challenge him because Shadow's actually just lurking in the corner. Instead, he knows that control hasn't been taken. Kellogg's is sneaking his way through, but he'll get caught by Dima Sick. Everything just going the way of FPX at the moment. G2 really struggling for any sort of control. And while of over a mix or uh, yeah basically just comes down to hey let's farm up a couple of ultimate points let's try and make this one a little bit costly because they got 35 seconds now to take a site with three players on it Last player standing. not exactly easy and dimasic makes it that little bit oh, more no. difficult fix well on 11 hp the flash oh but it's all for Ooh. nothing there we go okay i got a little bit scared coming through kellogg's he is leading the charge, and Cold Immense is actually already going to get rid of Zipan. You can see some utility being put into play to try and deny these aggressive pushes. Kellogg's though, oh, he's even expected, but he still hits the headshot and gets rid of Shao. All right. Bit ridiculous on that one. I don't think this is going to be swinging the way of FPX at this stage. And Dimasic, although he has the run it back, well... He's going to think twice before using that one. The pistols, and they've got some power. Yeah, they're not going for this, are they? I see Angel start to move back towards the site. HP. You got 5 HP, mate. He's, he's still going. He's still going. What is he? Does he want to get his Absolute madman. No, they're actually just going just paranoia. This. They're actually sending it in. Oh, my God. What? That was interesting. I think they do have a ridiculous amount of ultimate force by rounds that seem to be working for them. Oh no. <laughs> Shao, my man, coming out with oh, the no. Odin. That's what I like to see. That's not what I like to see, though. Mixwell creeps his way up through short, and there's the kill, the cancellation of Dimasic Salt, followed by the execution, but Shadow is here to trade it back. He's keeping it into even numbers and looking for even more. Luckily, that flash caught him, but I see him posturing the rolling thunder, and in it comes a what? Oh, Kellogg's! He's actually gotten him. How has he gotten away with that? I mean, the round seems to be going their way. Shadow, the final remaining player to turn this one in to an FPX win. Avova making a sneaky play inside the smoke. Hasn't been detected. Shadow has to clear absolutely everything. And Avova knows exactly where he is. The spike is tapped. The smoke dissipates. And Avova, oh, I like the little fake flash going out. He's just playing cat and mouse running down the clock and finish it super close now we're still in the buy round we need to see g2 do it again oh, oh dimma sick this mid control has just been sick from fpx whether it's angel with the operator or dimma sick just not giving a damn g2 just don't seem to have a response yeah, there was something that Ryan said on the desk, like, why have we not seen this before? And I'm starting to ask a question of why we haven't seen Dima Sick on the Phoenix before. Because the freedom he's been given just seems to be lighting up the server. Nuki, though, has been able to pick one off. He's going to continue to push. Hit by a paranoia up on short as he's being almost just battled with the remaining players. And that's because they want to get the res off. It looks like that was a direct counter. Now they're going to go running into this B site, maybe expecting that there's a couple of players on the other side. And Shadow, he's actually already going to be lost. It leaves Shadow alone, but I don't think they expected him to be there. Luckily, there's a quick trade from Nuki, which gives them a chance. Nuke is rolling the dice on this one, playing up close. A Phoenix about to flash through. He's blinded, but he's got the angle. Only for the one kill. Cold Damenta back sight with the Odin. Looking to return some of that favor that Xiao gave him earlier, but it ain't got him before. But, jeez, he's just on fire today. Wow. 
and let's see what FPX can do. We know they like to go for these retakes, and it's already oh. going pretty damn well. Two kills coming up. Mixo is going to be able oh. to get the trade. That's a rifle found at least, but Xiao, he's just doing this on the Odin. He cleans it up alongside Shadow. A solid take, some fantastic entries, but the retake from FPX is even better. Glorious stuff there. It's a, he showed us some nasty stuff last time. Uh, attack side haven. Not something you see every day. Angel has just ran down middle for two kills. He started this one out with full control. And G2, they're, they're at a two-man disadvantage. The res is gone as well. That's massive. Yeah, Angel's just teleported straight into the site. And now, whoa. With the walk back in of over, at least knows he's there, but that's not really going to mean anything. The spam from... Not a, not a day G2 are going to be happy with by any means, I'm sure. Well, now this is something that looks a little bit more familiar. The Zipam push into oh. middle is normally so deadly, and he's got Dima sick alongside him. This time, Nuki, he's only on 38 HP. Even getting one there would have been an absolute miracle. And this split through mid, this is the classic. This is what we've seen from FPX so many times before. Kellogg's trying to hold the line. Avova at least getting one, but on just 20 HP. What can he really hope to achieve? He needs Cordamenta to go huge. He gets nothing. Maybe he was given that by Xiao. Like, who knows? Maybe Xiao dropped it to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah. take a look at this. And he's like, oh, why? I don't want it anymore. I'll play classic. <laughs> it's fine. Evolva, he's got a nice little fight for himself here. But as he tucks away, Shadow's quick to trade. They've got the site. But they can't really plant just yet. you got to have those reinforcements come through. But oh, Xiao, oh, the timing for Xiao. Mixwell, this, this guy is just getting wrecked on timing every single round, it seems. Just has no chance. Nuki and Kellogg's the last remaining players, but I don't want to count Kellogg's out of it for one second. And that's exactly why. Such a quick shot, man. What does this guy eat for breakfast? Nuki, he's going to at least break himself the door. Get a little bit closer onto the site. Start this 1v2 uh -oh. with at least the first kill. And although it's a very costly round. And from FPX. Oh, shock dart right onto Kellogg's, man. Right on the head, and Shadow is just oh, no. waiting to pop this rolling thunder. Here they come blitzing through the wall. The paranoia, a good counter. The flash is in right away, but Nukia wasn't caught by it. This is a good response by G2. Angel lined them up and almost took Kellogg's down. Luckily, he'd already been healed up. And at this stage, it looks done, surely. The flash to come around the corner. Another to follow suit, and here's the big peak, the big challenge, and Dim is six away with three. Whoa. How has this ended up in this position? The spikes still needs to be diffused. Mixwell luckily rushes him down and leaves Xiao all by himself <laughs> and somehow he ends up winning it. They've actually gotten away with that round. First into a brick wall. There is no way to move past this fourth round. F Better to look to the team, but FPX, they're just too strong right now. And coming into what could be the final round, there's not a lot to work with here. That flash was so good. Completely discounted the blade storm that came through and well g2 they couldn't win a 5v2 and they got a 3v4 see i've, I've seen a lot of things to make me think Five that like planted. a lot of breaches utility is just weaker because people can still get kills while using it and then shadow has come in this series and like he's been keeping up with dima sick who's just been running around headshotting everyone this has been a performance 